Don't link. It's your boy Ink. Welcome to the Real Confidential Show. You just missed the flood of geese. Yeah, you miss it. Such a shame. However, you're seeing this, which is kind of cool, isn't it? Let's think all because we're having a wonderful 6th of August 2024. I've been saying 6th of July for the last four videos, so. In your normal list, and you add. Um, super, super excited to talk about what we're going to be talking about today. It's one of my favorite rom com movies. I know what you're saying. Oh, no, you're not burping. Are you burping too? Sorry. Uh, sorry, please. Um, it's one of my favorite rom com movies ever. You know what you're saying? Did I just say that? Okay, it's not my fault. It's either. Wanted oh, you to know that I love the way you laugh. My name is gonna get killed, me, but it's okay. I can steal your pain away. So, forgetting Sarah Marshall. I don't look like the guy who enjoy a rom com, but I do, I do, I do, I do. Watched, oh my god. Um, there's gonna be a person that's gonna watch this, and I'm gonna say, uh, I'm not gonna swear, but I hate that person because they made me watch. No, they, they didn't make me watch, but they talk about silent voice. Which is my second favorite rom com when I cried like a baby. But my favorite, favorite uh, my favorite rom com is Forgetting Sarah Marshall. And I have to say, there's a multiple thing that makes me love, love, love Forgetting Sarah Marshall. The fact that it's an established universe. So we got a singer, which is Alza Snow, that you might recognize from me, Get Him to the Greek. We have Jonah Hill, that you might recognize from Get Him to the Greek, which is one of my favorite movies. Absolutely my favorite movie. Absolutely my favorite movie. And um, disclaimer, when I talk about Forgetting Sarah Marshall, I haven't saw that movie in years. But I was in a good mood today, and I felt about talking about one of my favorite rom-com. Again, because we just watched Silent Voice. I'm a simple guy. Um, and the craziest thing is, in Forgetting Sarah Marshall, I, we have Jason Segel, one of my favorite artists, favorite comedian, favorite, um, yeah, favorite actor. Um, the, the, the craziest thing about Jason Segel was, uh, oh my god, if in a sense, Lithium, Amy Lee, my first crush. Um, Jason Segel was Marshall and I Met Your Mother. And I grew up watching I Met Your Mother, and I was like, oh my god, that is so cool. And I was like, and then it became, oh my God, Barney's so funny. That's just the way I am. And then I reached, I reached to the years old. And uh, I was making content and I wanted to watch it for content. No, that's not, that's not it. I was, uh, well, it was during the pandemic. I, don't, I was maybe 29, 30, I don't remember. It was during the pandemic. <laughs> this is why it's funny, right? And uh, I started watching it, and I realized the biggest mindfuck I ever had. Look at the nature corn, by the way. Is it nice? You guys like this? Right? I love it. We're filming it. <laughs> so yeah, I, I, I understood that the, the real dude, the real man, the, the person I look up to the most in that show wasn't Ted. It wasn't Barney. It wasn't Carl the barkeeper. It was the one and only. There was wrong with me, Lithium. In a sense, fuck me up inside. It was Jason Siegel. It was Marshall. Because he had a relationship. He had Lily. And he loved her. And he was the happiest. He didn't need to go to bars. And it's kind of cool because you see Marshall fighting the fact that he wants to be with a single friend. He wants to be with a single friend. But he always chooses Lily. Marshmallow and Lily. That guy I thought was such a wussy. Because he would do... <laughs> I'm sorry, Jason. I thought this guy was such a wussy because he would do... A uh, couple costume. I was like, what a wuss. Now I'm 21. And uh, this is something I crave, you know. Just like that. <laughs> but Forgetting Marshall, Sarah Marshall is a very good movie for why. So this guy, Jason Siegel, plays a character. And this character is super talented, right? And he writes um, he writes theater piece, he writes music. And Jason Siegel is actually a good 
musician, right? And uh, he has his girlfriend, which is played by Kristen Bell. Kristen, I'm sorry, Dax Shepard. Kristen Bell, she's, uh, she always has been. She's beautiful. And it's funny because we're, we're listening to Evanescence, which is my first crush. But I'm saying that Kristen Bell was one of my second, my third crush. I don't know what happened. <laughs> Very different. And um, her, she's exciting and popular. She has shows, she has movies. She's extremely popular. And even though that guy is kind of famous, right? Yeah, what's wrong with me? Let's see. Um, good song. And it, it's kind of nuts because at, a, at, at the same time, he, he's having success, but it's because it's less of a success. And they focus, the camera focus on her and she likes the camera she likes the spotlight so she's asking him to hold the purse and you're she's asking him to step aside for the camera and you think this is a is simple detail but it does a lot it shows and this is when i watched it the first time i was maybe 20. now i'm a bit more jaded i had a bit more experience with relationship right i had a couple girlfriend i know it's surprising but hey i did <laughs> montreal what the heck? Vanessa is coming to Montreal. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, I'm so sick. Not my favorite. Uh, I'm so sick. All around me is pretty good. You know what? Owl City. Fireflies is pretty good also. Um, so yeah, so imagine, right? Imagine being in a relationship and understanding that this is more telling than it seemed. It, it seemed like a simple ask, but it's like a form of disrespect. It's not a form of disrespect necessarily. She's also... She's, she's how little she think of him. No. If you think little of your partner, it doesn't necessarily mean that the relationship will fall. There's going to be a time where you're going to have to say, Hey, you're with me. Hey, we're equal. This relationship is both people, both partner are equal. Otherwise, it's not a relationship, right? Um, if you want to have a relationship where you're 75% of the work, go ahead. You're not going to be happy. That's my, that's my advice. So... The character sees Sarah Marshall and he's like, oh, I wish she was more, right? But he's accepting. And uh, the first thing she does in the movie, she breaks up with him. Right? And then he falls into a deep depression. And it's cool because they had a uh, my chemical romance. And then, uh, no other words could you say, whatever word you break. And it's, it's, it's the fact that they, they showed, they took the time to show him having m multiple relationships that didn't work. So one of his friends, played by Bill Eiser, who did a fantastic job as a killer in the movie, that's not what we're talking about, is they sent him to a resort. And that resort is amazing. That movie changed my life so much. My third crush, my second and third crush was Christian Bell. The next one was whom? Mina Kunis. Because of that movie. So he goes to a resort, right? And he meets this fantastic girl. And he wants to fall in love with her. But she's like, no, no, no. Don't worry. Let's not fall in love, right? Like, okay, I can deal with that. And uh, they become this uh, situation ship. 2024. Hot 2024. How fucking Gen Z are they? And uh, it, it's nice because you understand that this voyage, this trip, forgetting Sarah Marshall... A lot of people just call it, it's a rom-com, it's about Jesse Siegel and Mila Kunis falling in love. But it's not. It's not. The movie shouldn't be called Forgetting Sarah Marshall. It would be discovering Jason Siegel. You realize that he spent so much time in his relationship that he realizes that he is worth more than that. And it's amazing because why this movie is so good. And it's actually quite simple. It's because Sarah Marshall ends up with a new boyfriend, which is Aldo Snow. And uh, she, she ends up on the same hand with him. And where he shines, she degrades. Um, he has this amazing relationship with Mila Kunis. And her and all this, it doesn't work. So she starts here, he starts down there. And they're come, becoming equal, right? And the beautiful thing is, is you hurt me. Should I forgive you? It's about forgiveness also. Um, there's time where she looks at him, she's becoming happy. She shouldn't be nice to him. But it's like, nah, you fucking hurt my feelings. Fuck you. Yeah. And how would you act? How would you act with your with your ex? There's always this feeling of ex. They're doing better than me. I'm pissed. They're doing worse than me. I feel guilty. When we're supposed to have the same exact thing, it doesn't happen. It doesn't make sense. That's feeling. That's emotion. That's love. It it makes you blind. 
So Sarah Marshall again, and it's it's those people that are truly caring about him. Like there's this guy who, who asks him to go hunt a boar, and this guy that takes him to a party. There's this other guy who who teach him to to surf, and it's it's a story of a dude who doesn't know what's next. He doesn't know what's next. You think you you think it's because he wants to discover himself, but he doesn't know what's next, and he wants to find what's next. And the why I love this movie so much is because they're different relationship. There's this new couple, right? That um, the girl she's she's really uh, she's really sexual. The guy isn't, and you realize that this different step of the relationship. You have the Jason Siegel, which is at the end of the relationship, and the other people that are at the beginning of the relationship. Now the song is Lost, Linkin Park. Amazing song. Supposed to be on Ibert Theory. Did you guys know that? And uh, yeah, so that's a, that's a, that's a movie. And the the reason why I like it so much is because he fucks Sarah Marshall. He fucks Sarah Marshall. And then he realized that she, she wasn't the girl for him, and she never was a girl for him. So he asked me that for forgiveness, and she gives it to him. And it's a beautiful story. It's a dude that's so talented. It's a dude that just has been abused. And he's in a toxic relationship. Is anyone watching this relating to it? Have you ever been in a toxic relationship? Have you ever felt like your partner didn't value your, you? Yeah? Not alone, I'm lost And these memories Why they are not my own delusion Lost Love you guys, take it easy, peace